At Shell, we constantly ask what-if questions, which help us plan for the future. Asking these questions helps us explore alternative views of how the world might look in 25, 50 or even 100 years' time. Through the work of the Shell Scenarios team, we build these into stories of plausible alternatives of how the world might evolve, which we call scenarios. These future scenarios help businesses, political leaders and society make more informed decisions today about how the future can be shaped. Before you start developing your innovative energy ideas, you first need to understand some of the challenges cities may face in 2050 and how the world might have changed. Here are a few key trends and questions to kickstart your research. The United Nations tells us that the urban population is approaching 4 billion and will rise to over 6 billion by 2050. That's equivalent to around 7 or 8 cities the size of London appearing every year, which will use a lot of energy. As the global population increases, particularly in the developing world, and incomes rise, demand for energy will grow. This means society has to work towards solutions that can meet the need for more and cleaner energy. How our economy grows and changes will affect what sorts of energy we need. And the kind of energy a city uses may have an impact on people's wallets. How could new innovations help create more energy, cleaner energy and affordable energy? And will we create more power locally, not just in big power stations far away from urban centres? How we change our use of energy will be critical in making the environment a better place. In a number of cities today, the air is polluted with unhealthy smog. Sometimes you can hardly see across the road. Will air pollution continue to be a problem as more and more cities are built? There are many things that we can do as individuals, like buy more efficient heating systems for our homes, or ride our bikes instead of driving. But if we want to see the whole energy system change, then people will need to work together. National governments and international organisations like the UN will be vitally important in creating policies that encourage global change. Businesses will also play an important role. Different industries will need to work together to find new ways to produce cleaner energy technologies. Do you think very different industries could work together to share ideas and help solve the energy challenge? By 2050, the world will need to increase the amount of food it produces by 60%. Agriculture is already responsible for 12% of the world's carbon emissions. Do you think farming methods might change? Will we see better ways of moving food around the world? Or more urban farms? The way that people live, work and play has a significant impact on our energy use. From the products we buy to the services we use in our modern lifestyles, individuals shape the demand for energy. Technology has also had a big impact on our lifestyles in lots of ways, changing how we communicate via social media, the kinds of houses we live in, the food we eat, or by enabling people to work from home instead of commuting to the office. What kinds of lifestyle choices will people make in the future? And how could innovations help people to change their behaviour and make more environmentally friendly choices? Although there are some big challenges ahead, there are also some incredible opportunities to make our cities of the future healthy, clean and enjoyable places to live. <laughs>